turn fire, get him out the kill for kill zone. Now how far should you move? You're the combo commander. How far should you move the kill zone? How far should you move the vehicle? At least 300 meters. Right. Minimum 300 meters, right? It's been said, war is hell. And at this location, it's that hot and that dangerous. For three weeks, without a day off, these Air Force Reserve civil engineers are going through combat skills training the Army way to help do the Army mission. 31 of them are from Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri. Civil engineers from all over the Air Force are primarily skilled in building roads, villages, and hospitals. But here, they put all that aside to get a focus, a feel, and a taste of war, and how to survive it. We indoctrinate them into basically Army 101. The Army gives them world-class training. They learn small unit tactics, they learn combat lifesaver, they learn a whole host of other skills which will enable them to survive in an austere environment. We build upon the core competencies that the, that the airmen bring to the fight. These instructors are combat-hardened Army, and the training is in the high desert of New Mexico, at 4,000 feet above sea level, where it is hot and dry with little shade, with lots of critters and few creature comforts. It's all designed to acclimate and prepare airmen to work with the Army and stay alive in Afghanistan, the most dangerous place on Earth. Uh, we are one of the more unique power projection pl platforms in that our airmen live and breathe in what they will be wearing downrange almost 24-7. The heat, wearing this equipment at all times, which has made us get used to having this in the heat, where if we didn't and just put it on while we got over, when we got over there, we might have a lot more heat casualties. Well, to start off, the environment looks very much like it does in Southwest Asia. Uh, we're in the heat, we've got the mountains around us, we, uh, we're constantly having to be vigilant. The training is not all out of doors in the often 100 plus degree temperatures. There's plenty of high tech classroom teaching involved where students learn everything from navigation to language skills. Technical Sergeant Joel Keltner is like many of his fellow airmen, having done multiple deployments during the last 10 years. And he says this training he received today is unique for this new kind of deployment more advanced than that in the past. What I'm in there learning now to speak is uh, Dari, and I, I guess where I'll be going is mainly Dari-speaking people. So uh, taking this class will be very helpful while I'm out there. The Army has repeatedly said that our young airmen are some of the best students they have. Our airmen get it. They get the training. Reporting from Fort Bliss, New Mexico, I'm Technical Sergeant Tom Talbert.